When I enter a site like this, Shirinagong Pagoda, which is 2,000 years old, I enter it with the greatest respect for the actual religious site itself. This is my ethos. It is incredibly important to me to not be obtrusive when I'm documenting a place like this and, and people during worship. And I think it results with images that are more unguarded and, and original and less corrupted. This is something I also apply to less sacred places, on a street corner, in a car, anywhere. The great thing about this camera is that you can walk the streets and then you can just fall in the door somewhere and start shooting. And, and people just don't react to this camera, you know, it's, it's small, it's unobtrusive. It has a retro design. The X100S is just a great camera for breaking down the walls of of people's reactions to, to being photographed. One thing that photography does extremely well is, is to be able to document the vanishing, a document for what is there that won't be there in the future, and this is certainly happening in Rangoon right now. They're ripping down old buildings and they're being replaced with shopping malls and new buildings. I feel sad about this. If someone asked me what it meant to be a documentary photographer, I would say it's, it's like a calling where you want to document people's lives and their stories and then share those stories with a larger audience. A lot, of the, a lot of the stories are steeped in social issues, poverty, health issues, environmental issues, really important things for people to understand, really important things to be communicated to a larger audience. And how it's different from photojournalism is, is it's often not dictated by time. Well, you look good for your age, huh? 72. Well, I'm, I'm 55, but I look 72. Oh. You have such a beautiful smile. Look. Wow. Very good. Very good, yeah. Oh, your English is good. Did you speak English? No. No, my baby's is not so good either. My baby is nothing. That's okay, stay there, stay there. See me. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Bye -bye. laughs> an old black Toyota limousine from the 70s. We're getting in this car and we're barreling down the road from Rangoon to Mandalay. This is a road trip and it's, it's been inspired by the great British author, Rudyard Kipling, especially the poem he wrote, A Road to Mandalay. By the old Moulmain Pagoda, looking eastward to the sea, there's a Burma girl a setting, and I know she thinks of me, for the wind is in the palm trees and the temple bells, they say, come you back, you British soldier, come you back to Mandalay. It's amazing to think that things are much the same as they were in the late 1900s when Kipling wrote his poem, Road to Mandalay. People are doing pretty much the same things and the aesthetic is much the same. Men in longies on their ox carts, tootling along the road. Women down by the wells, drawing water to take back to the village for the evening. I'm sure I'm having the same reaction to Kipling 
when he was essentially writing about what an extraordinary country this was and how it made his own country look so banal and ordinary in comparison. And I think that probably, that probably still stands today. I mean, it certainly does for me. I love being on a road trip and, and just being able to jump out of the car and shoot when I want to shoot. It's, it's the ultimate freedom. It's like playing chicken. It's kind of hard to get a good picture. I'm just trying to get that one that defines the chaos, the order and the chaos. <laughs> I've seen one or two good shots where, but I missed it. Well, one where they, they were coming out. It's amazing how many people they fit. But, Anyway, they came out and they handed a baby down, you know, and that was the shot, but I was just too late. We're on a long stretch of road between Rangoon and Mandalay, a straight road. It's just, there's no change in it whatsoever. But I still want to photograph something, so I can't just sit there. So I start photographing my assistant out the window and people going by. I mean, there's images to be made everywhere. There's images in front of you all the time. I attempt to approach people with respect, but I find a beauty in all sorts of situations, in, in, in poverty and wealth and everything in between. So I just try to treat people in an equal way.